Hello, my name is Paula. I'm here to talk to you about my stitching today. Thank you for joining me. If you have returned from my first video, a huge thank you because it was not good. Um, I used my computer to film it and the quality was not, not very good. And I apologize for that, but it was a test run to see if I, if I could do it. And I think I did okay. So we're going to give it another try, see if uh, filming on my regular camera is an improvement or not, and hopefully, hopefully this goes better than the last time. I have my tea. Life is good. I thought, in addition to sorry, crumbs on the table, in addition to um, talking about my stitching, I would do the get to know your needleworker questions, so you can get to know a little bit about me. Let's do stitching first. That's what we're here for. That way if you don't want to get to know about me, you don't have to. You can just exit the video. All right. Now if you were here last week, I said I didn't have set plans for me yet, and I still don't. Um, I'm just kind of going with the flow. I did have some finishes. All right, I thought I had things organized here. Not so much. Um, so we'll do finishes first, I think, because that's the most fun. I finished my Peter's Day Out. This was a complimentary chart from Lindy Stitches. And I just stitched that on a piece of 28 count even weave. It's a light uh, lilac color. Um, it's just a little scrap that I had, a little square. And I just used fat, uh, floss that I already had. Uh, I will put the colors that I used in the description box below so if anybody would like to use them. It's a really sweet little pattern. Hmm, hopefully that yeah, hopefully that little string wasn't over top of it. Let me show it one more time just in case it was. <laughs> That's why you serge your edges, right? I don't. I'm bad about that. My next finish was my Little House Needleworks ABC Samplers, and if you watched it all last week, um, I talked about how I was going to alter the pattern. I changed it from a three-story house to a two-story house, and I uh, changed the colors to match a house that my husband and I went to see when we were first married. So I gave it a sagging roof, and I changed the colors. And it. Uh, it very much looks like the little house we saw. Well, it's in better shape than the little house that we saw. I feel like I'm moving things too much. I apologize if I am. But I got that finished, and I'm going to frame that and put it in our room. It's a very sweet piece. Good, good memories involved with that. Those were my two finishes. Yay! I have... Uh, some of the projects that I worked on. Friday night, I started, if I can find it, The Old Doll by Little House Needleworks. And I got the border started, not finished. I didn't get as much time to stitch on Friday as I had hoped, but that's a good start, and I'll get back to it soon. And I'm stitching this on, um, I'm moving everything around again, sorry, 28 count uh, tea dyed Monaco, and I'm just using the called for DMC. Saturday night, I started Little House Needleworks, Two Red Houses. Funny story with this one. I've been wanting to order that pattern for a long time. And I kept putting it off and putting it off. And my daughter was cleaning her room and she came out with an envelope. One, two, three, stitch. It hadn't been opened. And the date on it was from 2018, I think. <laughs> Somehow the mail from that day had been taken back to their room and shoved in a pile underneath their desk and she found it. So 
it was a free, you know, a free chart. It showed up right before Mania, and I thought, I have to work this in. She'll be thrilled that I shared that. Here's my progress from Saturday and Monday. Saturday stitching didn't go well. I had to rip the house out a little bit. But that's how much I got done. And this is on 18 count fabric that I got from Kitten Stitcher. I thought I had everything out. So, zip, zip, zip. No, I don't. Let's put this back. There it is. It's on 18 count What a Dump from, <laughs> from Kitten Stitcher. Love her fabrics. So it's a nice, nice dark brown. Very pretty. And I'm doing this um, using the call for DMC. Sunday, which was Mother's Day, and I hope if you celebrated you had a nice relaxing day. Um, I know it's a hard day for a lot of people. I've been there myself. Um, I don't have my mom anymore, so it's, it's, a, it's a bittersweet day for me too. But I was spoiled by my family and uh, got some stitching time in and a lovely dinner cooked by our daughter. And it, uh, it was a good day. It was a good day. So this is what I worked on on Mother's Day. Seemed appropriate. Mother's Garden by Blackbird Design. With my camera, I have no idea what you're actually seeing, so when I edit this, <laughs> we might be sneaking in pictures or something. I don't know. Probably just go with it. Since I have no clue what I'm doing. As if that was not obvious. my progress with that. And this is on 18 count Ada. But it's the, whatever company it is that just colors the front. You know, the, the modeling is on the, on the front but not on the back. I don't know what, I don't know what brand that is. If somebody could let me know, I'd appreciate that. Because I have several of their fabrics and I want to make sure I give credit where credit is due. And I'm using the uh, Call for DMC for that too, and I think it, they're really pretty colors. So that was my stitching for the week. Not a whole lot. The two finishes are good. I did bring out a piece that I had finished um, at the end of April. It was my last piece that I finished in April. It's another Little House Needleworks. I really have a theme going this week. And it's Patriots Inn. And this was just a 28 count piece of fabric that um, somebody was selling a, a lot of um, little cuts of fabric for, for smalls, so I, I picked that up. And again, it's the colors on one side and it's white on the other. And again, I didn't search the edges. <laughs> but I'm really pleased with how that came out. So let's do some get to know your needle worker. I need more tea. My apologies if you don't like people drinking on camera. I'm a tea drinker, hence the name of my, sh my channel. And I'll share a little bit about my tea at some point too. I am uh, blessed with a local tea shop that uh, has loose leaf tea that they blend themselves. It's, it's wonderful. I'm having vanilla bean today. It's quite good. So I have my notes here so I can remember what the questions are. Uh, where do you live? I live in northwestern Pennsylvania. I am right between Pittsburgh and Erie. Uh, I think spring might be here now. We had it briefly and then it snowed last week for a couple of days. Um, it's supposed to warm up this week so hopefully Hopefully we can get some things planted. I've got all kinds of uh, little vegetables waiting to get into the ground. What do you do for a living? I'm a homemaker. I have been at home 
since uh, our oldest daughter was born, so for over 20 years I've been a homemaker. I have worked from home, um, did child care in our home when my, my two oldest were uh, little. I, uh, I babysat for a co-worker of my husband for mm, almost two years. Um, I've sold cosmetic products. <laughs> I was an Avon lady. I, uh, I've done all sorts of things. I have my kitchen registered with the Department of Agriculture, so I have a, a baking and candy baking, candy making business out of our kitchen. Um, I make candles that I sell. I've been doing all sorts of things like that for about 10 years now, 11 years, 11 years. I started with um, craft fairs and things like that with uh, different things that I make, and then the candles appeared about five years ago, and uh, that is my, my main uh, craft that I sell at, at different stores. I have an Etsy store as well. It is on vacation mode right now until things clear up a little bit, so I don't have to make as many trips to the post office. Uh, just thought it was the uh, safest and easiest way to, to handle things right now and uh, limit ordering in products for, for candle making right now. UPS is bringing enough stuff here with our regular orders. They didn't need to be bringing 100 pounds of wax at a time. Do you have any children? Yes. Yes, we do. We have seven children. Yes, you heard that correctly. We have seven children uh, from age three, five, seven, ten, almost 14, 18, and 20. Our oldest is married. They have a, a, a home not too far from here, so we get to see them regularly. Well, not lately, but normally we get to see them regularly. <laughs> they are expecting their first. I'm going to be a grandma. I am a grandma. I am a grandma. I am in that club now. Um, we are a home education family, so our kids are all educated from home, so the school's closing really has not uh, had a huge impact on our, our life. Our 18-year-old is a senior this year, and she does take classes in town at the local private school. Just two classes. Um, so they usually do a graduation and things like that for their students. Uh, that's not happening this year, so we're, we're making do, and we'll, we'll celebrate her and her accomplishments and uh, do our own graduation here at home. So that, that is my family, all of my, my kiddos. We have uh, four boys and three girls and a wonderful son-in-law, so I guess I have another boy. Do we have any pets? No, we do not. Um, we had a beagle for 14 years that we adored. Um, she was a naughty beagle. <laughs> yeah, she, uh, she liked to chew things. She never really did outgrow that. But I shouldn't say she is naughty. She wasn't. She was, she was a good girl. She was just very high-strung, um, which beagles tend to be. But we miss her. But with my kitchen being registered, I can't have pets in the house. So we've, uh, we have not replaced her. Our daughter and son-in-law have animals, though. So if the kids need an animal fix, we take them over there to play with the bunnies. And chickens. They have chickens, too. Um, what are your hobbies besides cross-stitching? Um, well, I've already talked about the baking, and I make candy. That's, that's a huge hobby for me. I really love to bake. Um, and my candle making and crafting... Um, I make wreaths and things like that. I like to garden. I have a flower bed. Uh, we're putting in a larger vegetable garden this year, so uh, so I'll spend some time out there this year. Um, I'm a collector. I collect antiques. Um, I collect uh, Slovak pottery. That's in my my mug. At one time, we had a um, Polish and Slovak store in our town. But the, the couple that ran it retired. So I have um, a lot of their pieces. My husband is Slovak and, and Polish, so we, we have quite an extensive collection of the pottery. Uh, what else do we do? I like to read. I like to do all, all kinds of things. I have lots of hobbies that keep me busy. Stitching right now is, is the number one hobby. So it keeps me well, I'm collecting stitching materials. <laughs> 
is, is a hobby in itself, right? The fabrics and the charts and the floss and all the pretties. When I started stitching, there weren't all of those things. There was Ada and big books with cute things in it, but I don't remember all of the charts and things. Um, I've been stitching for 30 years now. I learned, uh, I learned when I was a teenager, and it's grown so much since then. <laughs> I'm shocked. I'm happy about it, but I. I stepped away from it for a few years because it was the same, you know, same fabric, same things over and over. So when I came back and and realized that it had grown and there were all of these different things, it was it was quite exciting. So I've had to scale back my purchasing though because <laughs> it got carried away a couple years ago when I joined back in. What is my favorite movie? My favorite movie is Harvey with Jimmy Stewart. I'm a big Jimmy Stewart fan. Um, we watch a lot of old movies here. I'd say Beyond Harvey, Guys and Dolls, um, Singing in the Rain. I really like musicals and older movies. Um, so those are my favorites. My favorite TV show <laughs> is Mystery Science Theater 3000. Um, started off on the Sci-Fi Channel. This guy and a couple robots making fun of really bad movies and our family my husband and I started watching it um, when, the, when the show first came on, and we've uh, continued our obsession with that now. Our children, some of them, the older kids, uh, watch it as well, so it's a pretty common thing to have a mystery science theater movie on in our house at some point in time, every day. My favorite book is The Screwtape Letters. Um, I've read it multiple times. It's my my Lenten book, I like to read it during Lent. I didn't read it this year during Lent. Lent was Lenty enough this year. <laughs> it was the Lentiest Lent I've ever Lented. And uh, so I did not read it this year, but that that is my favorite book. Favorite music? I don't have a favorite music. I'll listen to just about anything. Um, my parents both loved music and a variety, my mom. My mom loved 50s rock, and uh, but she also played hymns on the piano all the time. My dad was into big band music, um, and I grew up, of course, listening to 80s music. And uh, fortunate that my kids like 80s music and will listen to it with me. And my husband, I listen to rock. I listen to just about anything. Not a big fan of rap, um, so I think that's probably about where I draw the line. But I'll listen to anything else. And I, I struggled with this one. What one word best describes you? My husband had beautiful words that he was using to describe me. And my comment to him was that the words to describe me that I felt probably wouldn't be words that I'd want used on my channel. <laughs> um, I think I'm crafty. Maybe that is the word that describes me. Sarcastic, snarky, probably not the best words. but. I don't know. Maybe I'll revisit that question. I'll think about it and come back to it. But I really struggled. It's hard to identify yourself in that way. Just pick one word that describes you and I just... I can't do that. So, so I made it through the questions. If you have any questions you want to ask me, feel free. Um, I'm probably not going to bring my kids in on this too much. I might talk about them, but the younger ones I'm going to keep off of here. If the older ones want to pop in, that's that's on them. They're they're uh, they're adults. They can do that. Um, but yeah, that's a little bit about me. I hope I hope we can be stitching buddies. I don't have anybody in my area that um, I hang out with too much that stitch. I have one one friend that stitches, um, but that's about it. So stitching buddies would be great. And hopefully this video came out all right, and we can try it again next week and see what kind of process, progress, not process, words are hard, words are hard, progress I've made this week. Um, I hope everyone's staying safe. Thanks for visiting. See you again. Bye.